Hey everyone, I want you to meet Star. Star is a puppy under the care of the SPCA for Monterey County. And I just found out about Star this morning. They called me and uh, told me about Star's story. So, so what's her name? Her name is Star. This is Star. She's and, about two uh, months old. Two months old. And, and she's got some neurological issues. And it looks like she has some neurological issues. She bumps into things and kind of bumps her head. Yep, mm -hmm. and she does do a little bit of flailing to kind of correct herself. Right. And in some ways she behaves like a blind dog, so she may yes. be blind. Yes, um, our vets haven't been able to determine whether or not she's visual because she's too young and right. at this point she's too hard to get, it's too hard to get her to hold still right. um, to really test her eyes properly. But our right. vets do feel that at times she appears to be non-visual. So there's, there's two things that we could attempt to solve. Uh, one of them would be solved by some sort of head protection, like a helmet or something, right? Correct. And so if we were to, there she goes. Yeah. Yeah. And now, oh, she managed to get yeah, herself back up. Girl. Yeah, that was a good roll. But it, good girl. Good girl. So let's talk about that one first. Yeah. If we were able to design a custom helmet. Mm-hmm that fit on her, what would be some of the requirements of it? Like uh, it the strength of it, would, it would, would you imagine a hard shell would be ideal? It could be padded or it could be hard, you know, um, kind of what a staff member and I were discussing is we kind of want a baseball hat that offers either padded protection or hard protection, uh -huh. but has a brim that has sticks a brim. out. Because we, she, bump, she bumps her nose a lot too. Oh, and that's so interesting. We, when she walks straight into things, she either hits her nose or her forehead. Okay. And so we're trying to protect the nose at, oh, from okay. trauma as well as the brain from getting any further trauma. So the hat would also need to have some sort of um, hole mm -hmm. in it for her ears. Um, to hear or just to fit or both? Both. Okay, right. Um, mostly to hear. Uh -huh. um, but yeah. But if it, if it wrapped around the ears, and somehow had a buckle underneath. Mm -hmm. That would be. Or yeah, some elastic. Mm -hmm. Do you have any experience with these sort of <laughs> devices? I mean, we, we would just prototype and test and see yeah. how they work. I mean, some some use um, like snap clips, uh -huh. like a dog collar. Sure. Um, and others use buckles. Right. Um, for us, it doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, we know she's not full grown at this point, so mm -hmm. something that you could grow room. with her possibly. Right. Um, or, or we just moment. design a new one. You know, yeah. we have the model and we just uh, scale it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, I picture something so that has some softness to it, so mm -hmm. she is protected if she bonks into something pretty hard. It's not mm -hmm. just yeah. hard hitting the skull. But there are like, like almost um, like a wrestler. Yeah, wrestler's, wrestler's helmet. helmet. So that's what I was envisioning. Um, it's like a thick. A wrestler's helmet. Rubber. A thick like rubber. A thick rubber type material. Right, in so fact, there's <laughs> there's even, I mean, that sort of uh, material is available. We could print oh, really? on a softer hey, hey, material. Hey. It's harder, but it's something that would be a, an interesting softer challenge. Softer is harder, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's more difficult. Uh, That's funny. But we could also, you know, do a harder <laughs> shell, but with a soft interior, like yes. a bike helmet that yes. has some foam on the yes. inside. Or a baseball helmet. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, time getting this thing done quickly is important because they want to adopt star soon and so we're gonna pause our work with Arduino for a moment and uh, see what we can do to help out this dog uh, tomorrow morning the SPCA is gonna come and bring star and we're gonna take some measurements of this dog's head and we're also going to begin prototyping, doing a little design sprint on what this helmet could look like. And uh, that's going to be our next challenge, to develop a helmet for Star using some uh, 3D printing. So come to class on time, get ready to meet Star, and we're going to take some measurements. And, uh, and we're going to try to see if we can help out this dog.